Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. We are enjoying our evening. We're having a wonderful cup of tea. It's still brewing here. Sleepy time. I haven't gone to the store to get the lemon yet, but I'm going to. That'll be this weekend. Tomorrow is Friday, so Thursday night now has become a good night because it's like it's not Friday night but Friday is just around the corner so just one more work day and then we can rest um, I just was laying down a while oh by the way let's get to some more jewelry from Sue look at this uh, this looks fantastically interesting doesn't it Uh, I was laying down, and people I work with, they're saying they crash after work. Well, I do too, but normally I don't always go lay down. That teal, I think it's like a teal. It's just such a beautiful color, isn't it? We love that color. Well, how is everybody? How are y'all? If you've had surgery, how are you doing? If you're looking for a job or you are just, um, that, those are really pretty. These are beaded with some felt. So somebody made those with sequins. Somebody's talented. Pretty colors as well. And those sequins add that sparkle, don't they? These look vintage clip-ons really nice Robert and Rose I don't believe I've ever had a pair of Robert and Rose don't know anything about them we'll need to look those up nice so it looks like we're gonna have well we always have very interesting beautiful pieces from Sue um, look at these these are pretty as well every color of gemstone you can think of here from the emerald to the sapphire to the ruby to the amethyst to the citrine and they are not marked but they're pretty yeah we're just hanging out and relaxing uh, my friend and I were driving around doing our errands today after school and I did not get go to the thrift I've been going every day but I didn't go today I was just too tired I got Olivia walked and that was about all I could do um, I don't think there's a name in there and then all of a sudden I go Ugh, and she said is that the roach driving by and I said yep so he's in town the roach is my competition um, I haven't seen the bike guy in a while. Yesterday I was at the dumpster, the thrift store dumpster, and got everything out just fine. Uh, it was just some, not even knickknacks. Couldn't even call them knickknacks, so I haven't shown y'all. And I may or may not. It's just really almost nothing to show, but, ooh, those almost fell down to the floor. These look like they might have something on them. So let's pull this and see. I know y'all like to see what it says. I cannot read it right now. I think it says 925. My hands are dry because I didn't want to put lotion and have the jewelry just dropping. 925 and these are real so this is for Henrietta Henrietta come on around here she likes real pearls so these are some beautiful real pearl earrings beautiful sterling silver awesome yay treasure pearl and Sterling. These look pretty.
So these are hooked together so they don't get lost. Um, I don't know if there's a mark. These look like turquoise to me. I just don't know, you know. They're green and brown. I don't know. They're pretty. They've got that brown matrix, so I'm not sure. I would say they were. So Shelly's going to like those, Shelly and Cluck. I'm going to bring Shelly this way. She likes gemstones if you're just joining us. We talk to little plastic figurines and shell figurines. These are cute. They are porcelain. I don't think there's going to be a name on them. So we'll leave them on there. Very pretty. Delicate. Those I'm going to put those in a little baggie to protect them. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so then I saw him. I was like, ugh. And uh, the manager was still there, so it was early, and I figure I can. I'm too tired to wait around. I don't know what these are, but these are pretty. Feels like metal, like a hollow metal. So I did not want to wait around and I just we just came home these look like I'm not sure that's a pretty reddish uh, these are really pretty That's like a red, a deep red, like a garnet red, but they are cold, so I think it's glass. Yeah, it's glass. Very nice. And I don't have a lot of stories, but um, work has been going well. It's typical, but I've been staying calm. You know, by calm, I just mean um, my heart's not pounding, my adrenaline's not up too much. It goes up and down throughout the day, but people around, adults around me are falling apart right about now. And one lady can't even eat. She's young. This is nice. These are nice and pretty. So we work with the public. High stress job. But either y'all's prayers have been working god has been working all of it i'm just like calm and staying ahead of my work i'm not gonna have to work this weekend unless i want to so that's always nice we may have a maker's mark napier don't we love our napier Beautiful. Look at the condition on those. Gorgeous. Beautiful. That's pretty. That's a seed. And somebody told me once what kind of seed it was. And a little um, sea turtle. Oh, I forgot to put the do not disturb. I'm using my friend's phone and she's asleep. This may say something here. We have a 925 stamp on that. It just kind of hit a little bit off. 
And is that what this on here? I don't see one on here. However, hold on. The devil is in the details. This says Sterling. Look at that. Very, very nice. Beautiful little sterling with a seed, and that's a particular kind of seed. Somebody might be able to tell me. Wonderful. I'm sure that it got separated from the pair. So we will pair those up as we go on. These are pretty. Nice and blingy. Sparkly, sparkly. That's cold. It may be. I don't think it's shell. I think it's stone. I think it's. It looks natural to me. See those lines? Those are. It's pretty. I don't know if that's a, a stamp. It is. So what kind of white stone is that? Nine two five. Nice. Nine two five China, and before the nine two five, it has a little maker's mark. Beautiful. Shelly's going to like that, and I do too. This is so wonderful to know we're coming home to this jewelry, especially since we haven't found anything in the thrift or anywhere in a while. It's almost time for another dumpster find, but it doesn't happen when you go home. <laughs> it doesn't happen when you go home. Those are pretty. Beautiful, like shell inlay, mother of pearl. I don't see a maker's mark. Those are pretty, very pretty. I mean, there's just so many amazing. We went through brooches last. Now these are earrings, and Sue, the way you put everything, uh, you know, separated for us, it's so wonderful. Excuse me while I have some tea. That's just the right temperature. And we have a maker's mark. I don't know who that is. Pretty earrings. If anybody knows who that is, let us know. These are so beautiful. Genuine porcelain. Very pretty. Nice filigree. So these other ones are definitely genuine porcelain as well. We'll put those over there. I had a feeling this just had that look. Woohoo, Sterling, 925. We love it. That's beautiful. Look at that. 
gorgeous pieces, Sterling. I'm sure there's another one in there. So I'll keep the Sterlings together. Look at this. I know y'all are loving this. All these beautiful pieces. This is like a, reminds me of a supernova. <laughs> it's just patent pending. There's the name at the bottom, I believe. Oh, it's Sarah Coventry. There we go. Wow, nice. We love Sarah Cove. Look at those. I mean, they are just gorgeous. They look like they have never been worn. Beautiful. Just Here's the match for this sterling sea turtle with a seed. So we have two of those beautiful pieces. Put that right there. This seems like it. Oh yeah, I think we did say it was stamped on there. Because it does look like it. Sterling Cross. Let me pan back. There we go. Um, it's just nice to that, that's the kind of calmness that only comes with with God and it has never happened to me on this level so it's not coming from me I'm not doing anything different not do not you know consuming anything that would do that and then that wouldn't work anyway because that wears off and then you have your stress again so I'm just calm these are really pretty. I have to admit, it's been nice to have the dumpster to myself for a couple days. Oh, I got a bunch of scrap out of there yesterday. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't film it. But I love to get scrap away from the roach. Because he's just so arrogant. He's like, I'm the only one that has permission on here. And then when he talked about that bicycle guy, Monet. Woohoo, Monet. Let's look at those. Beautiful. Uh, he was like trying to talk about the guy finding gold and he said, Oh yeah, well, if he would tell me where that dumpster is and it would all be, I would find it all from there on out. I'm just like, shut up. This is a, just such a pretty white stone. I guess it's an agate. I don't know. I'm at a loss. It has some banding. And that's got sterling earring wire. That's pretty cute. Let's see if it has any maker's mark or anything. My gosh, 925, right? I need to get the loop. Yes, and on the earring back as well. Gold plated 925. I think, yeah, little gold going around there and the sterling silver um, flower. Amazing. Wow. How blessed are we to have such beautiful jewelry to see tonight. There's the other sterling cross earring. We're going to have a spiritual message tonight. Yeah. Look at those. These are beautiful too. Porcelain. They're heavy.
pretty. I'm looking for, there's this one. I was looking for the other one of these, but we're just gonna have to wait. It may or may not be in there, it doesn't matter. I like single earrings as well. Another beautiful 925, so we have the pair, and we also have the mark, is that it? 925, on the part that clips on your ear and on the inside. A double bonus there. Well, the neighbor, he ran his, he messed up his battery. He won't go get a new battery on his car. So they're always, they used to bang on our door at literally five in the morning to get a ride. And I just don't open the door, you know, we're not opening the door. Those, those are unique, vintage and pretty. Very unique. Never seen any like that. Those look like 60s, don't they? So anyway, we came home and he's out there pacing in the front back and forth and then he starts hollering and then the baby starts crying. And I just told my friend, we're just going in. I'm not, his hood was open. These are so pretty. I mean, is there really not a maker's mark on here? I'm gonna have to get the loop and look. I don't see one. Boy, are these pretty. Like some Aurora Borealis, and then some, this is like resin, some light purple resin. That reminds me, we haven't had amethyst in a while. Here's this one in its pair. Let's see if we have a mark. I thought I saw. I don't think that's a mark. No. No maker's mark. Really pretty. Beautiful silver tone clip on earrings. Look at those. These are such amazing vintage. Um, this is made by, is that Brighton? Yeah, that's Brighton, isn't it? No wonder they're so pretty. Quality earrings there. Look at that. It's got to be vintage, discontinued Brighton. Nice. So we left and came back a few minutes later, really, and the Brady Bunch, the guy was out there with his, like, some kind of plug-in battery charge or something. They got the car running. And Brady Bunch has called the city on him, but Brady Bunch, oh my. Okay, Japan. I thought that said Germany for a second. These are so pretty. 40s, would you say? Or 50s? Really beautiful. This is just nothing but eye candy here tonight. So, I'm like, yep, well, Brady Bunch. I'm glad because Brady, they can start knocking on the Brady Bunch's door. They haven't knocked on our door since we didn't. I literally told the woman, I cannot help you. They were knocking t two days in a row or something. And he plays this nasty music real loud, vulgar language, you know. I'm just not, I'm done with their domestic violence over there. Anyway, I didn't want to be talking about them, but 
it was interesting that now Brady Bunch has helped so they can just start dealing with them. I don't see this other one, that's fine. I'm just making sure it didn't get caught up in something else. Okay, so these are pretty. Well, there we go. So pretty, gold tone, pearl. Another beautiful clip on. And we have a name. Is that Monet? We've got another Monet. Beautiful Monet pair. They're nice and big. Incredible condition. Wonderful. Here's some more of the porcelain. I don't want to open them because porcelain roses. We may have a name in there. I'm not familiar, so I'm going to have to going to have to look on with the loop. Nolan Miller. Don't know who that is. They are pretty blue. We love blue rhinestones. Look at that. We're going to have to look at both of these side by side. And once again, appear to have never been worn. Wow, those are gorgeous. I mean, do y'all see the sparkle? Like the teal in the background with the dark blues and the light blues. I need to look them up. Never heard of them. And now we have a beautiful, like an aluminum rose or flower. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Sue. I think I opened this. Yes, we opened that last time. Time for a sip of hot tea. So we're keeping our... I'm just going to put this over here with the pile. We're kind of keeping a pile of semi-precious, precious, putting those there. Croker's going to get something soon. And um, beautiful, just stunning. Let's see, what are we? Uh, oh, we're the 24th of October. So we're going to read out of the Daily Guide Post night. I mean, the last time I read out of here was the 16th of October. Be kind. Remember, everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. T.H. Thompson. The phone interrupted my reading for the third time that evening, and again, it was a salesperson. The caller began telling me how happy I'd be with the new storm windows her firm was offering at a once-in-a-lifetime price. Without ever even saying I already had good storm windows, I was about to slam down the receiver when something stopped me. It was a tremor in her voice. I knew it well from long ago when with quavering heart I had walked door to door trying to sell magazine subscriptions. Strangely, I didn't remember the people who actually purchased subscriptions as well as the patient man who listened to my talk and then smiled saying he was still trying to read the ones that came last year, or the lady who couldn't afford to 
subscription, but did hand me a cold glass of lemonade on a hot day. So I held on to the phone until the caller finished. Thank you, I said. We already have good storm windows, but if we didn't, I'd certainly buy a set from you. You're an excellent salesperson. Two minutes later, the phone rang again. It was the saleswoman. I just wanted to thank you, she said, for listening to me. It was a nice interruption. Father, as I try to make my own way, remind me that others are also traveling the same hard path. That was a good one. Um, before we close, this was from the dumpster dive I had shown y'all, and I would like to just look. It's just a plastic thing, and we like to see what kind of things are stashed in these. And we have a Blondie with Dagwood. I think we can use a little comic strip. What's going on? I want Daisy to go get the paper for me, but she won't move. Why don't you get it yourself? You mean like this? Honey, it's 6.30 in the morning. Who's going to see you? Uh, well, okay. Morning, Dagwood. Hey, Dag. What's up? Morning, Dag. Hi, Mr. B. Yo, Dag. Blondie, as soon as you finish fixing the sink, honey, the gutters need to be cleaned out. Okay. And frame after frame, he's still Alexander. What's up, Dad? Give me a pillow. That's cute. Um, different ways to tie. And the art of tying the knot. Compliments of the DeSantis collection. Okay. When is it too early to... So this looks like... Did a guy save this? What is this? Create an heirloom with our stencil. That's pretty. When is it too early to make noise outside someone's window? At 7 a.m. recently, a big riding mower started right by my window. I know 10 p.m. is a cutoff in the evening. Put this in the paper so my neighbor sees it. The city's no noise ordinance states it shall be unlawful for any person between the hours of 10.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. the following morning in a private place in the city to create, make, or cause to be made any loud noise which is reasonably calculated to disturb others in the vicinity. Have you tried discussing the problem with your neighbor? For a copy of this or other city ordinances, contact the city clerk. Nineteen ninety nine. Um, battling pests. So these are just some little things from the Women's Day. I guess a woman would tie her husband's neckties, wouldn't she? So this is definitely a woman's. Guys wouldn't put this in a plastic thing. I don't think guys now. I don't know. Not, you know, maybe, maybe. Destination, Texas. So we're right about an hour and a half below Longview. Two and a half above Houston. All right, well, listen, thank y'all for being here, Sue. Thank you so much for the wonderful pairs of jewelry. The earrings are gorgeous. 
um, Brighton, Monet, Napier, Authentic Porcelain, Beautiful Vintage, and um, Wonderful, can, you know, all wearable, all pretty, very nice. I can even look some up. Sarah Cub, that's right. I had forgotten. All right, thank y'all for joining us. And look, we still have a big bag from Sue. And then um, Jenna sent some, a, a nice big bag. So we're not going to run out anytime soon. See y'all next time.